SketchUp is a great planning tool for kitchen and bath design. It's also a wonderful presentation tool as well. In the old days, a hand-drawn floor plan was enough to sell a design. Not today, however. People every day are subjected to design technology, whether they're seeing 3D models in TV or in the movies. Consumers are aware that technology is out there and they demand it. And why shouldn't they? Everyone can benefit from seeing their new design in 3D rather than just a flat elevation on paper. There are a lot of folks out there that have a really hard time perceiving how something on a 2D drawing would look like in real life. Using some techniques in SketchUp, you can really make a great presentation for a client using your model that you've already created. With a little organization and automation, your presentation will go off without a hitch every time. If you've used SketchUp, you know how easy it is to navigate through your model. Using the rotate, pan, and zoom commands, you can easily get the view that you want. Even though it's really easy, when you're showing a client, you should be concentrating more on selling the design rather than lining up that perfect shot. Also, if you're presenting on a big screen, some clients might get seasick with all that panning and zooming. This is where the automation piece comes in. SketchUp will allow you to save preset scenes. This way, when you're presenting your design, you will have some presets that you can refer to whenever you want. Creating one is really easy. The most basic way is to use the pan and zoom commands to get the view you want. After you get the view that you want, just go to the view menu, go down to animation, and select add scene. Now you will notice that the scene tab marks scene one has appeared along the top of the drawing. If we go to a different view and select that scene one tab, you will see that we are brought back to that exact view every time. You can make as many scenes as you want. All you have to do is get the view lined up, add a scene, and then you're done. Next, I'm going to show you some techniques for getting some really good views and how to organize all of your scenes. First, having a three button wheel mouse is really necessary. If you want to learn some basics on just uh, basic panning and zooming, please refer to the video that I've linked to this post. Let's make sure you have the right toolbars on. Go to the view menu, then select toolbars. Make sure that large tool set and views are checked. One tool that you should become really familiar with is the zoom extents tool. Sometimes when you get in really close, you can sort of get lost in your model. Pressing this one will back you out so you can see your entire model. The views toolbar is really helpful as well. Using these buttons you can line up your view just right without endlessly panning and zooming. I use these a lot to get a top view. Pushing the top view button and then zoom extents will get you a nice top view really quickly. Those are the basic view tools. There are a couple more that will help you get a really realistic shot that will make your clients feel as if they are standing in their new kitchen. Over here in the large toolbar, you will see three tools that we are going to use to get some of these views. This one is the position camera tool, this one is the look tool, and this one is the walk tool. To set up views, I'll start with getting a top view. Next, I'm going to click position camera. This will give you an icon of a person. This icon sets where you're going to be standing in your model. Let's stand in the middle of the kitchen. Just click on the floor where you want to stand, and there you are. There are three things to take note here. First, we're looking at the wall, which we'll fix in just a moment. Second, instead of a mouse pointer, we now have a pair of eyes. And lastly, in the bottom right corner, we now have a setting for eye height. With these pair of eyes as my pointer, I can click and hold and then drag the eyes to look around the kitchen. Let's turn around and look at the sink. I can also set the height of the eyes. You could measure your client's height, subtract a few inches for the position of their eyes, and put that measurement in this box. The camera will be raised to that height, giving your client a very realistic idea of what things will look like to them. Now that we have a scene that we want to save, and that we can refer back to later, simply go to View, and then to Animation, and then to Add Scene. There it is, scene two, all saved. Let's learn to walk around our model to get another view. Let's look back up and then select the walk tool. Now you have, instead of a pointer, a pair of feet. If you click and hold down, you can walk and look around. By dragging up, you'll walk forward. By dragging back, you'll walk backwards. By dragging left or right, you'll look left or right. Let's walk around to find a different view.
Now that I'm standing where I want to, I can click the Look tool so that I can look down at these stools directly. Walking is really easy, but it does take some practice. I can now save this scene as well. Like I said earlier, these tools are very easy to use, but when you're presenting to clients, I find it's best to have preset scenes. They transition really nicely, and if planned out, they can really walk your client through the design in an orderly fashion. Knowing these view tools will help you when you are drawing, presenting, or just exploring your models. Thank you.